Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example of how to solve an inequality. Notice we now have symbols or terms on either side of the inequality sign, and it's a second order polynomial uh, on the left side. So what we should probably do is move everything over to one side and set it equal to zero, or at least have a zero on the right side. We don't set it equal to zero because, of course, we have that inequality symbol there. So let's move the 5 across the other side. That will give us 3x squared plus 14x minus 5 greater than or equal to zero. All right, so now that we have everything over to one side, we may be able to factor this. So what we're going to do here is write the equivalent equation, so I have an equal sign there instead of a greater than an equal sign there. And so when we do that, we get 3x squared plus 14x minus 5 equal to 0. Now, if we can solve this equation for x, we'll end up with two, two uh, values for x, and those two values are then the critical points of the regions that we're going to try to find that will satisfy this inequality. So we're trying to find the critical points, the endpoints of the region of interest. All right, to do that, we need to factor this. And let's see if we can. So do a little trial by error. So two binomials multiplied together should equal 0. And the first binomial will have to be a 3x and an x, because 3x times x will give us 3x squared. And the last two numbers multiplied together will give us a negative 5. That means we need a positive number and a negative number. And then also notice that we have a large middle term. So I believe that if we put a 5 there, a positive 5, because the two numbers that will give us a negative 5, of course, a negative 1 and a positive 5, or a negative 5 and a positive 1. But since we have such a big positive and negative uh, middle term, I think a positive 5 will do it, because 5 times 3 gives us 15. And if we put a negative 1 there, negative 1 times x is minus 1. 15 minus 1 is 14, gives us a middle term. And these two numbers together give us the negative 5. So it looks like that's the correct solution for this equation. Now, here we have two binomials multiplied together that gives us a 0, which means that either 3x minus 1 must be 0 or x plus 5 must be 0, because when you multiply two numbers together to get 0, one or the other one has to be 0, which means that 3x minus 1 equals 0 or, oop, I forgot my O, or x plus 5 equals 0. In this case, we have 3x equals 1, because when negative 1 becomes a positive 1, and x therefore is equal to 1 third, or x is equal to minus 5. So those are the two what we call critical points or endpoints of the region of interest. Now when we draw a number line, we can find those two points. Here we have the point 0, there we have the point negative 5, and there we have the point positive 1 third. So since these are the critical points, we'll go ahead and draw little circles around them, and then we also notice that here we have a greater than or equal symbol, which means the endpoints are included in the solution, so we can go ahead and make them solid. That gives us the indication that, yes, those endpoints will also belong to the solution. Now, notice there's three regions on this number line. We have region number 1 to the left of negative 5, region number 2 between the two critical points, negative 5 and 1 third, and region number 3 to the right of 1 third. One or two of those regions will satisfy this inequality. The question is, which ones? To figure that out, we're going to pick sample points from each region. One point to the left on the region number one, like say negative six. A point in the middle, since zero is one of those points we can choose, we'll pick zero. And a point to the right, let's just pick an easy one, the number one, which is greater than one third. So those are three sample points we're going to plug into our inequality. All right. So when we plug in negative six, and we plug in, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one more step before we do that. Since we found the factored form of this, I'm going to write this in a factored form that makes it a lot easier to solve. So we can write this as 3x minus 1 <clears throat> times x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So now we're going to plug those three sample points in here to see if we get the solution or not. Okay, so starting with negative 6. If I plug in negative 6 here, I get 3 times negative 6 is minus 18, minus 1 is minus 19, that's a negative number. And if I plug in negative 6 in here, negative 6 plus 5 is also a negative number. See, all I need to know is if these binomials are either negative or positive, because when I multiply them together, two negative numbers will give me a positive number, and a positive number is always greater than 0. So here we can say that this satisfies inequality because no matter what, 
this will always be a positive number, therefore always be greater than zero. So negative six is in the region that satisfies inequality, which means everything to the left of negative five satisfies, including negative five because of the equal symbol right there. Okay, let's try our second point, zero. Plug a zero in here, zero minus one, that's a negative quantity. Plug in zero here, zero plus five is a positive quantity. A negative times a positive quantity gives me a negative quantity. Negative quantity is never greater or equal to zero, so therefore this does not satisfy the inequality. The middle region is not part of my solution. Sample point number three to the right. So I'll plug in a number one. If I plug one in here, three minus one is one, uh, so I should say two, which is a positive quantity. And we plug in a one there, one plus five is six, that's a positive quantity. Positive times positive, yes, that will be greater than zero. So therefore, anything to the right of one-third also satisfies inequality, which means everything to the left of negative five and everything to the right of one-third satisfied this inequality, and that is the solution to this inequality. And that's how we do that.